Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another informative repair video. Today, we're delving into the troubleshooting of an HP Smart Tank 500. The issue at hand is the printer displaying an E3 or error 3, indicating a problem linked to a paper jam caused by the printer cartridge cover being open. Stick around, and we'll thoroughly explore and resolve this issue together. Let's dive into the details shortly. Now, it's time to take action. Begin by removing the four screws holding the printer together. These screws are crucial for accessing and inspecting the cartridge cover. Once the screws are out, proceed with caution to turn off the printer first and detach the two flat cables. It's imperative to handle this step carefully as these cables are directly related to the functionality of the scanner. Pay close attention to ensure a smooth and safe removal process. Now, let's direct our attention to the printer cover. It appears that the likely culprit behind the error is a spring mechanism. There's a possibility that this spring has dislodged or broken its connection to the hole located above the cartridge cover. This could be the source of the problem, causing the E3 error. Examining and addressing this spring's condition may hold the key to resolving the issue. Let's take a closer look and explore how we can fix or replace the spring to ensure proper functionality. In the printer head cover, I've gone ahead and removed the spring, which primarily serves as support when opening the cover. Let's now evaluate whether the cover closes smoothly without the spring in place. This step is essential in determining if the removal of the spring has a positive impact on resolving the E3 error related to the open cartridge cover. Let's proceed and observe the results as we work towards a solution for this issue. Fantastic! As you can observe, the printer head cover now locks into place securely. Now, it's time for the ultimate test. Let's power up the printer and see if the removal of the spring has successfully resolved the error. Cross your fingers, and let's check if the printer functions without displaying the E3 error. This hands-on approach should give us a clearer indication of whether our adjustments have successfully addressed the issue. Let's power it up and see if the problem is now resolved. Let's wait for a while. Fantastic news! It's great to see that the printer error has been successfully resolved. Now, let's move on to the next crucial step, a print test. Given that we disconnected the flat cables for the scanner earlier, it's crucial to conduct a photocopy test. This will help ensure not only that the printer error is resolved but also that the scanner functions properly after reconnecting the cables. Alright, folks, there you have it, the E3 error is officially vanquished. If this video saved the day for you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech fixes, and share the knowledge with others. Your support fuels my passion for creating helpful content, and I'm excited to keep the informative videos coming your way. Thanks a bunch, and have an awesome day.